Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Maybe I was never really free. Maybe I was only what my master wanted me to be. And now, I need to decide who I really am. You're lost, just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, 11 hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. You can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. 
They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. Drink this. Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Diagnostic program isn't working. I don't 
think you would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in the Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in. You gonna be okay? some help here. Soon this will all be just a bad memory. This is the place. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. Come on in. Don't be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please, make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. 
great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. No, of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way. Everything we need is in the basement. I don't like this place. And that man. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. I know. I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. If you could just stand over there. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, uh, people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. It's what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusionment. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, what <laughs> happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. You bit me. I'm going to teach you.
teach you some manners, you little bitch. Meet me in the living room. Her memory. No, this can't be happening. You have to remember for her sake. He likes to play with us, creating monsters for his amusement. But who's the real monster? What he did to us. You must remember who you are. Otherwise the little one will die. Master's dinner's ready. Take it up to him. Yes, Luther. Uh, 
Just set it down on the table over there. Now get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. It took off the word. Fucking whore walked out on me to a fucking accountant! Did you hear what I said? Yes, Lanko. Luther! Luther! Yes, Lanko. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Lanko. I'll bring you the little one in 10 minutes. Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. Oh yes, you must always obey. You should not be here. You have no business here. No, you have no business here. If you have no orders, you should go on standby. Oh yes, you must obey. Yes, you must obey. Yes, you must obey. Sorry about the little one. We have to go. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? Luther!
Yes, Zarko. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Right away, Zarko. Disappear. Gotta be here somewhere. What are you waiting for? Go look. Shoot. Where are they? Luther! Find them for fuck's sake! You're there, you sneaky bitch. Show yourself. Get a flashlight. There's one on the table. Come on, show yourself. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I only want to talk with you. I know I shouldn't have erased your memory, okay? I regret that now. Now just come on out and everything will be all right. I'll help you. Think about... I know where you're hiding. This game is over. I'm gonna make you regret this little charade. Ah! you. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master!
didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Congratulations, Connor. You managed to find that deviant. Tell me, what did you learn? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA-9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. It's a pity you let it self-destruct. I knew Deviants had a tendency to self-destruct under extreme stress, but I didn't expect it to jump from the roof. I should have anticipated that. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? He seems to find it difficult when a Connor is destroyed and replaced. I know humans have difficulty dealing with loss. Working with him will be a challenge if it happens again. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home?
Lieutenant Anderson! <laughs> Easy, dog. I'm, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm here to save your owner. Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <sighs> it's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey! safety. Hey! I'll have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be you fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, <clears throat> but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Sumo! Attack! <laughs> Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <clears throat> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? If you're unable to conduct this investigation, I'll have to inform your superiors. Go ahead, tell them I don't give a shit! Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. I understand. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. This homicide, what do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. What do you want to wear? Whatever. <coughs> Are you all right, Lieutenant? Yeah, yeah, <sighs> wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure.
President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today, where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Many experts as What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. another way. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me.
You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! I need your help. John! Drone, now this. Just my luck. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Oh, 
Goddamn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that. Did you get it? A truckload! We stole a whole truckload! We load. got bio components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because... here, androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! 